Hi, I'm Lucy and in this video we're going to have a really quick look at how to add and subtract thirds. You should already know how to simplify them, but if you've forgotten, watch this video first. There is just one simple rule for adding and subtracting thirds. The square root number must be the same. And then you just treat it like an expression. You deal with the numbers outside the square root as one thing, and think of the number inside the square root as a letter. So what's wrong here? Can we subtract these? Nope. Square root 5 and square root 3 are different. Just like 10a take away 7b can't simplify, nor can this. But be careful, because you may be able to simplify the thirds first, and then add or subtract. So give this question a go yourself, simplify and then subtract. Pause the video, work out the answer, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get it right? Square root 3. As always, simplifying is a really important part of thirds. Give these questions a go. Pause the video, work out the answers, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get them right? There is just one final piece of the thirds puzzle, and it is known as rationalising the denominator. We'll have a look at that in another video.